Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bo. If you're new here, it's nice to meet you. This week, I'll be taking you guys through another what I eat in a week. However, we shall be putting an emphasis on and diving deep into the topic of balance this week. It's the middle of summer, whether you've been overworked, partying too hard, indulging too much, or restricting too much. It's about that time of the year for that recalibration, or shall I say, repivot of the mind and lifestyle. So starting with what does it mean to live a balanced lifestyle? You hear the saying all the time, everything has to be in balance, live through balance, eat with balance. Balance has always been a word thrown around in the wellness and lifestyle community, but what does it actually mean? I don't think there's an objective answer towards this because one's means of balance is subjective, but I'll give you a personal example of how I maintain balance through eating, for instance. So I feel most balanced eating healthy majority of the time, so 80% of the time healthy and 20% of the time I will indulge satisfy cravings eating out having a treat this regimen is what works best for my mind and body i'm not completely suppressing my cravings nor am i indulging entirely through treats naturally as you eat healthier you'll start to see that your body no longer craves for those treats processed foods or you know junky items. Shifting your eating habits through a healthier eating regimen also implies that your body is naturally shifting to an improved subjective notion of balance as well, if that makes sense. For example, let's say you're eating healthy 50% of the time now and indulging in the other 50% of the time, but once you shift your regimen to the 80-20 rule, it's a whole new ball game of balance that you're in. I just took way too big of a bite and it was so freaking hot. <laughs> So for Tuesday's breakfast, I made myself my go-to tofu scrambled. All you really need is to chop up half a dice half a dice half a bell pepper and kind of just like stove cook that and then you kind of want to mash um one block of tofu with your hands crumple that up and add some turmeric salt and pepper and i also like to add one vegan italian sausage to the mixture i feel like it just gives a bit more flavor and then you kind of want to like cook that on a medium low heat so that you don't really like oxidize the nutrients for that extra tint of spice I like to put in some salsa into the concoction and I like to like toast a piece of toast and breakfast is served. So the question is, how does one exactly find that balance? Well, my approach to balance is to live life intuitively. So listen to your body, satisfy your cravings by fueling her with what she needs, what she craves. But first and foremost, you gotta kind of build that trust within yourself to eat intuitively first. And trust me, we've all been there. Through personal experience, I found that complete restriction takes less physical work because you kind of like automatically know not to eat this not to eat that but was that the healthiest thing for my mind and overall well-being probably not it wasn't until i developed that trust with myself to eat whatever eat which many eat till i felt about satisfied was when i discovered that i have unlocked the secret to finding balance in my diet finding balance in everything in life is key to healthy living Balance has become kind of like this historical phenomenon that dates back since the 1300s BCE. We hear about the yin and yang. This symbol is rooted in Chinese Taoism. The Taoists understood that two opposite characteristics exist in harmony. The yin represents the complications, the chaos in one's life, and the yang reflects the lighter side of things, the predictability of things, the order. This notion applies to everything you kind of do in life really you need a bit of chaos to make life exciting but you also need to know your ways of recalibration evidently swinging too far into chaos without order will make you go crazy but being too orderly will make your life boring life is all about balance and we've always understood that concept through human evolution but it's the application part of it is what we struggle with 
in my work life, this is me. Order. So these are the things, the predictable elements of my life. Things I rely on, things I know I have to do, my obligations and commitments. I'm a working girl. I have a part-time job. Occasionally, I do some freelance work and I teach dance here and there and I'm also a full-time student. And for chaos, these kind of represent my creative pursuits, the risk-taking elements of my life. So clearly, as you're watching this YouTube video, YouTube is evidently something I'm very passionate about. I love editing, I love filming, I love vlogging. This is kind of like my creative outlet. But am I gonna quit my part-time and full-time commitments for this passion of mine? No, I can't because YouTube is not a feasible source of income currently. And without my part-time and full-time commitments, with that being school and work, I'll be kind of swinging that pendulum too far to the right, you feel me? But YouTube is definitely something I love and it gives me that spark and makes life a bit more fulfilling and more interesting for me to live in. We've discussed how I keep my work life in balance. Now let's discuss the lifestyle implementations I inhibit into my routine that keeps me balanced overall. So to begin my workout regimen, I love to move my body. I love working out. So I do this about four to five times a week just to nourish my overall physical well-being. I really enjoy cycling, running, my long walks, dancing, the occasional weightlifting, boxing, and Pilates. And for my eating habits, I I eat 80% of the time healthy and 20% of the time I'll choose to indulge. And for my social connections, social bonding aspects of my life, I know that seeing a friend once a week and FaceTime calls here and there with a friend while I do my mundane task is something I really enjoy. This keeps me kind of like mentally in check. So keeping up with that theme, I spent the day with my mom. I literally love her. We went shopping, we had some delicious food, we got soft tacos, some treats. I got gelato. We looked around this place called Tenzington Market. And for dinner, we went to this amazing Greek restaurant. I'm literally in love with the place. They had such great pita bread, which served with this very delicious house dip. We ordered a side of garlic potato wedges and this chicken dish to share. And for dessert, we ordered ordered baklava and it was so good oh my goodness having fun seeking out moments of social bonding social engagement is essential for humans despite how introverted or extroverted you claim to be as a person we all need human connection with one another it just comes with being a human i've personally realized that i'm more introverted as a person this discovery was revealed to me after i did kind of like the mental and deep work through journaling through journaling about this i realized that it takes me less social interaction to feel satisfied with myself than a typical extrovert. I love seeing my friends, but I would say I live accordingly to the 80-20 rule with how much social interaction I seek out as well. 80% of the time, I like to spend alone. I love my long walks. My favorite thing to do is walking along the harbor front, my long city walks, and just sitting down, enjoying the sunset while journaling. I also love going to cafes phase ordering my cup of coffee and spending a few hours or so there to get my work done. Journaling has also become another kind of element I have implemented into my routine. I use it for the recalibration of things to journal once a day but now it kind of become more of like a two times a week type thing. I would like to kind of vent out my thoughts or break down a new philosophical revelation I had or prompts I just feel like writing about, journaling about the future, the present. Journaling is definitely one of the ways to kind of like quick fix a mental exhaustion moment and when I feel off balance.
So these are the things I do to maintain a balanced state of being. You see how the topic of balance may become subjective? My means may be different from yours. If you're naturally extroverted, the 80-20 rule of how I utilize social interaction may be opposite. 80% of your free time, you may seek out social bonding time, human connection, and the other 20, you may spend it alone. My means of balance is objective to myself, but subjective universally. What I'm trying to say is not everything I do will work for you. Not everything you do will feel intuitive to me. It's all about developing that connection, that self-awareness with yourself. Don't force any preconceived idea upon yourself. You hear that journaling is good for you, but does it really feel good to you? Maybe drawing your emotions out or doing the deep work through pictures, visual art is your way of coping and enhancing your well-being. My suggestion to you is to really tap into your mind, test different well-being mechanisms, tools you hear about online, but really reflect upon them and ask yourself if something like this is really worth your time. Next, we're going to discuss how to build that trust within yourself to live intuitively. The answer is routine routine formation, embedding healthy habits. And now you may ask, why does a routine help you trust yourself? Well, by definition, a routine is a sequence of action regularly performed. Let's take brushing your teeth for instance. This is a routine performed every single day. You do it because it's embedded in your cognition that brushing your teeth prevents you from teeth decay, cavities. You've kind of formed this trust within yourself that you're doing justice for your teeth by brushing them daily to prevent any teeth problems, tooth problems in the future. So today the plan is to make a tofu kimchi stew. I haven't made this in so long. I low-key miss it. I remember this was like my go-to wintertime meal. But yeah. I've Okay. That's what today. Just like any other habits you may implement into your routine. If you start to eat healthy or healthier, it starts to become more habitual. So even when you do indulge or eat not too healthy for some time, you've kind of developed that trust within yourself that you're still a healthy person because you eat healthy the majority of the time. The treats you are consuming is a part of your healthy lifestyle because it allows you to feel mentally satisfied and happy overall. So to reiterate, building trust within yourself all comes down to the routine you've programmed for yourself. It all starts with the little things and the more of the little things you habitually implement into your routine that benefit you, the more you start to feel in control and balance in your life. A routine also protects you from the likelihood of allowing external things affect you because the relationship and trust you have internally programmed with yourself is so strong. So now the question leads to how do we build a routine? To build a routine means to have discipline. Discipline takes a whole lot of trial and error. Don't get me wrong. And it takes work. Develop your own personalized toolkit that works best in your favor. Your routine must work for you, not against you, and your routine must work around your obligations as well. Discipline is the only barrier to entry before accessing balance. So where do we go from here? I have three tips for you. One, start with a couple new habits you want to start performing. See what kind of habits you want to start implementing into your life and like read up on the things that intrigue you, maybe test, test the waters a bit, you know? So find a couple new habits you want to start performing. Two, stay consistent. Three, make it fun and easy. We as humans should be striving towards becoming a better person, a better version of ourselves each and every day. Once you start working on yourself more than anything else, everything else will start working for you. Thus, prioritizing this notion of balance in your life should be the starting point of this self-improvement journey. Anyways, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, and comment on my video. It would really help me grow as a small channel. If you guys also want to see more content of mine, I recently started a TikTok, and I post some reels on my Instagram here and there. Anyways, thanks again for tuning in. I will see you guys 